but you, you might be wondering, what's all that crap in front of you? It's crap. It's all crap. <laughs> it's, okay, video done. See ya. I went on AliExpress. Something that you really shouldn't do because everything on there is crap. <laughs> I went on AliExpress and I bought a, a bunch of fake Nintendo Switch consoles. They obviously can't exactly make the design of the Switch without being sued. So this one, this PSP Nintendo Switch hybrid looking thing, I actually bought this months ago and already tested it out and I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, I wanted to make a video of some kind and show you the this disgusting thing that I found on AliExpress. And eventually I thought that why, why not see if there's more? So that's what I did. I bought what I guess is like a Switch Pro. And then in this box, I haven't opened this box yet, but there's a Switch Lite in here. Or at least AliExpress's version of a Switch Lite in here. I also bought some other knickknacks and paddywhacks, some cool gadgets that we can test out today. I really love making videos like these where I buy a bunch of random crap from the internet. And then we, we, all, we, all, we, all, we all laugh at them and have a jolly old time laughing at the knockoff awful things that I wasted my money on. I almost forgot. I bought fake knockoff Raycons. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, I need to interrupt because Ray... Right here, I filmed this whole bit with these fake Raycons. They look horrible and they sent me green. And the whole bit was me realizing how bad they were because they're fake. And then, oh, finding my actual Raycons. They're super affordable and cost about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds on the market. It was really funny. But I realized I can't have, I can't show it because it's still competition. So I have to blur it out. I can't even say the name. Yeah, great. Thanks. That was a waste of $30. These are Raycon's newest model. <laughs> the Everyday E25 earbuds are the best ones yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise isolating fit. Kim and I are moving house right now and honestly these have been a lifesaver while I was packing up my game room or the rest of the house. I have these in my ears blasting a podcast or some cool beats that sound amazing while I'm moving boxes. Oh my god, it's, it's so good. Highly recommend grabbing a pair. For so many reasons, they're 15% off if you go to buyraycon.com forward slash beat-em-ups. It helps support the channel, and I guarantee you, you won't regret buying these. And if for some reason you do, Raycon awesomely now have a 45-day free return policy. So you can make sure that they are the earbuds for you. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring. I'm sure you would have been cool with it either way, but I wanted to do it right back of the video. All right, let's just let's just do it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Let me just What is this doing here? I don't <laughs> I've just put my 1 million sub button behind me. We're going to start with this one because I charged it. Maybe we shouldn't start with this one because the uh... Let's not start with that one because I might have to charge some of these. We'll start with just this Big one. This absolute monstrosity. Oh yeah! This is what was advertised for this one. Handheld retro game console. Seven inch LCD color dual joystick HD camera video game player for nostalgic player kids gift. <laughs> oh God, it's making me sick just looking at it. Oh no. Oh no. There's a 32 gig micro SB USB. I don't know what I'm saying. I paid for 48 gigs. There wasn't even a 32 gig option. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to say cool baby. Why does it say cool baby? Is that in the- It is! I just didn't notice. Cool baby. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course. Because it spins like a let him rip Beyblade, when you try and push it to the side, your thumb slips and spins the stick. I hate him. I hate him. It's not uncomfortable to hold. It's pretty big. Oh, no. You play with that thing sticking out of it? Is that how the games load in? Let's see if it turns on. I'm gonna guess that it won't. It probably has no charge, which is why I started on this. Yep. No, I... Oh, I bought this. I'm so cheap. I bought the 16 gig with a thousand games to save a dollar. I guess I was feeling really cheap that day. All right. 
Cool, baby. I guess we'll get back to that in a minute. All right, I know this one's charged, so let's do this one now. It's titled Best Looking Portable Handheld Game Console. 4.3 inch color screen, 8 gigabytes with a thousand free classic game support. You can see on the picture here, both the analog sticks are at the bottom of the screen with the buttons up the top. But when I got it, this one was reversed. It's like up top, which is how the Switch is. And I don't know how to explain this, and maybe it's just my brain. But if you actually look at the left side here, it looks upside down. It looks wrong, and it's different to the listing. It's very confusing. High quality, cheap price. Support download games by yourself. Nice gift for your kids and friends. Okay. I don't know why, but Street Fighter gets advertised all the time with these knockoff consoles. They've cropped like a quarter of Mario out from Super Mario 3. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then they've got fighting game and arcade game, and they're both Street Fighter, Ryu and Ken. And then there's a random Pokemon, Blaziken, I think. I like to point out too, it has 11 reviews, and they're all five star, and none of them left a comment. Those reviews totally aren't paid for. All right, let's turn this on. This is weird too, because it shows you Tekken. I'm pretty sure that's Tekken. And then a bunch of other like random clips of like other fighting games. I think Street Fighter's in there. And then it cuts to this horrible looking hacked Android menu, arcade box. Famicom, Game Boy Advance, Neo Geo, NES. Let's go to Game Boy Advance. There's got to be a Zelda. Give me a Zelda. There, there. We, oh, Minish Cap. That's fine. I never finished Minish Cap actually. So here we, here we go. My first full playthrough of Minish Cap. The data in file one is corrupted. Okay. I wonder if this will save then. I'm worried that it won't save. Not that I care. Let's be real. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm noticing, the sound quality is awful. It's pretty loud, but it's crackling and breaking on some high notes. That crackling, it's actually, it's not even on notes. I'm now realizing that crackling is just like, consistent. Oh, it's just happening. That's not a good start for the old best looking portable handheld. Well, to be fair, the first thing they say is best looking, you know, that actually looks pretty nice. I really don't have a complaint with the screen. It gets the job done very well. That's pretty impressive, actually. It has save states, so it switches between these games really quickly. Hmm, that's not bad. It says sell cat instead of select. They misspelled select. Oh my gosh. One thing they boasted on this one was that it has a camera. That was a big selling point. Hi, does this look as awful as I think it does? Is it super zoomed in on my face like I think it is? All right, I'm gonna take a selfie. This is gonna look bad, isn't it? It didn't save my photo, but it says that it did. All right, I'm just gonna take a bunch. I don't think it saved. I can't get to the photos I just took. I have tried everything. What a cheap piece of crap this is. There's an option for music. Oh, I can play a song called Butterfly. Uh, I'm, 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 this video is not getting claimed. Um, it's crap. The one thing it can do is it can play old games. Just don't use the sticks and use the buttons and don't have the sound on. By the way, I bought a Nintendo Switch dock off AliExpress. Buying Switch docks are pretty expensive. And I saw this one on here for $20. Let me teach you a little secret about buying things on AliExpress and Wish. These websites, they can't write the word Nintendo and they can't have the word Nintendo on their products. And I found this original new Switch dock with HDMI cable for Nintendo Switch. And that's how they get away with it. It's so dodgy. So I saw this listed as Nintendo, but it says original, like official. It actually looked legit. And then I got it and it says Nintendo on the back. They legally cannot put that on a fake knockoff product. I was just baffled that I bought an official dock on AliExpress for $20. That is a really good deal. I am using the $20 dock and it's working just fine. Kim, if you want to spin around, it's working perfectly fine. So I bought a $20 official dock off AliExpress. I don't know how that happened. Next, we have this, which I actually thought 
was a pretty cool gadget. And I'm now realizing, actually, I'm mixing two videos together. You remember that video I did recently? And if you like this video, you'll like that one. I bought a bunch of weird, wacky accessories, official ones and non-official ones from Japan. These two didn't get delivered. They came a month later. This really awesome Pikachu-looking Hori pad, which I just thought looked sick. I don't even use that word much. Words like sick and dope. I don't know. I'm not that guy. I'm really not. But this is sick and dope. <laughs> I love the way this looks. And then this, which I guess we can test really quick. So I am actually excited for this one because out of everything I bought, well, actually, good deal. But after everything I bought today, this might be the only thing I use because I have an Xbox Elite controller. Don't want to brag because I didn't buy it. Steven sent it to me in a fan mail video. And something I actually like on that controller is having the back triggers. And this little handy gadget right here clips onto the back of your Switch and it adds two triggers which you can program to any button you want. If there's a game like, let's say The Witcher is a good example. You ride your little horsey by holding A or like double tapping A to run faster. And then if you're like me, I like not letting go of these sticks ever. And having to move my thumb off to hit A to run faster is annoying because I can't look around my little camera at the same time. So you can map one of these to be A and that way you never have to let go of the sticks. And that's the kind of elite gamer I've become. Oh good, it's all in Japanese. <laughs> Oh! Oh! So, okay, I use Google Translate and there's a line in here that says connect to switch dock. That would make sense. And honestly, it's the last thing I can try. So I'm gonna try and do that. This is kind of actually working just because I plugged it into a dock like you're supposed to. So these back triggers are actually mapped to Y by default. And then these are mapped to B because it's making Mario jump. There is definitely other modes though. Like I wanna get these to be A and I've tried messing around with this button. You would think pressing this giant M would make it change modes. But for whatever reason, I cannot get it to change modes. I'm happy that it at least works. And I'm sure I've tried holding buttons down, double pressing buttons, every combination I can think of. I'm sure there's a way, and if you know, let me know. All right, so we have the cool baby is finally charged. Wow, that is actually pretty cool, baby. <laughs> it reminds me of like Xbox's menu, right? A little bit like a Microsoft Surface tablet. So we've got again, Famicom, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, Game Boy. Street Fighter V! Does this one actually have Street Fighter V? This is not Street Fighter V. This is not Street Fighter V. Um... There's no sound button. There's a button down here that says sound. When I press it, nothing happens. If I hold it, nothing happens. So sound is just on. I can only... Apparently, it's, 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 it's not it's my not day. My day. <laughs> the camera cut out 10 minutes ago and I didn't realize. So I'm not sure how much is usable between this camera and the audio, but we discovered the thing sucks. <laughs> we found out that it's all in a different language, uh, Japanese or Chinese. I'm really ignorant and I don't know, but it's not in English. So I couldn't tell anything I'm doing. It has a camera as well. And I took a photo and uh, well, I don't know where it went because all the files in the, the gallery, they're all corrupted and there's no way to open any of them. And they're all unmarked folders as well. We discovered that there's a few games installed that probably come with the base, whatever this thing is. And then you have to have this thing plugged in to play all the folders of games and all the folders of games are in another language the 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 the, 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 the. <laughs> so i randomly picked a game and got mickey's adventure ultimate so i don't know not a bad game but uh there's no way of knowing what you're gonna play until you load it up so all in all this one is worse than this one because at least i can kind of tell what i'm doing with this one the only thing this one has going for it is it doesn't sound like a speaker's dying and it has a bigger arguably nicer screen but everything else I don't know, man. I've been filming for an hour and I, I apparently the last 10 minutes got cut out. I'm gonna open this now because we might need to charge it. That is much smaller than I expected. That yes, that is also what she said. Wow, it's actually kind of cute. Ah, oh, why has it got a big red knob? <laughs> what the heck is with that? It's really loose too. Those ones were too stiff. 
This knob is too loose. So let's look at this. It's called the Wasco Open Source System Retro Pocket Game Console. It's very obviously designed to look like the Switch Lite. When you look at the listing online, the knob is white. I don't know why they sent it with a red one. This was the most expensive one, by the way. It cost me $80. And whereas the other ones had a bunch of information and like weird like crap they try and tell you about it to sell it, this one didn't. It's got three reviews. Someone in the UK said great little device fits well in the hands and very comfortable. It actually charges via USB-C as well, which you don't really USB-C that often. <laughs> All right, the screen is clean. I don't dislike the screen. Oh, that is a cute little menu. I love it. I love this so far. By the way, Pal Kitty. Don't know what that is. You've got Nintendo, Master System, PC Engine, Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, Super Famicom, PlayStation. Sit down, pal kitties, because I might actually like this. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, PSP, what? This has everything. Okay, I need to see how it runs some of these non 8-bit games. Let's load up Mario 64. It's me, Mario. Hello. This has been in my house for a few months now, by the way. I've been sat here like a sucker waiting for Mario 64 on my Switch. I could have been playing it this whole time. This is a really good little screen too. Where's the sound? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, I hear- There's a little button on the side that says R oh, above the power button. I couldn't figure out what that was. It's reset. <laughs> Oh, this little nub, I do not like. Well, actually, I think I was too harsh on the nub. I think I'm actually coming around on the nub. It comes with extra nubs. Oh, it is. Oh, wish I hadn't taken it off now. Can't get it back on. You know what? I kind of really like this little thing. I think this is actually really cool. I actually feel like I bought something usable here. I've actually bought something I kind of like. I don't know why the graphics are glitching out so much. I don't know if it's the emulation, the software. I'll bring up Jet Set Radio. I haven't played this in so long. Oh my. Really loud. Oh wait, I found a menu. Look at this little menu. What is it telling me here? I can switch between these games? So if I wanted to switch right now to Mario Bros and I hit play, I wonder if it would switch back. That was pretty quick. This looks really nice. This right here, what I'm seeing and the quality of the console, it actually feels like I'm holding something official, like an official little Nintendo handheld. I'm not kidding. The controls, are responsive, there's no delay. The quality of the buttons feel quality. They feel really good. This is actually really surprising me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This thing is a nightmare. I can't understand anything it does and it has to have a big white stick sticking out of it for it to play half the games. This wasn't bad. It feels cheap, it looks crap, but the screen's decent. It plays games just fine. It's just the sound is awful. So I can't really recommend either of those for different reasons. This is a kind of an awesome little device with a lot of options. The best quality screen out of all of them, the best feeling buttons and form. There might be a way to turn down the sound somewhere in these options. I would assume there is, I just couldn't find it. But everything else about it's really cool and if you want to invest some time in loading in your favorite games, it might actually be worth the money on Honestly. Don't buy it instead of a Switch, but if you're really into emulation and you're looking for something to play emulation on the go, this really wasn't bad. If you guys enjoyed this video, thanks so much. I couldn't make videos like this without Raycon sponsoring and helping me afford it. It would really help me out if you could click that link below because this was expensive. <laughs> Check out Raycon because they have some very inexpensive and fantastic earbuds. You can watch this video on your phone with the Raycons in. That's cool, baby!